Well, g'day Curd Nerds. Today we're doing a taste test for Wensleydale. So this is Wensleydale with cranberries and uh, it was made in early May um, well, actually, it was made in late April. So 28th of April, uh, I made this lovely cheese. And uh, it was supposed to be mature in uh, in just, what, two months? Yeah, two months. April, May, June. No, three months. So uh, this is now ready for tasting because I said so. And uh, we're going to have a try of Wensley Day with cranberries. Now... A couple of things where I deviated from my normally normal Wensleydale recipe before we even taste it is that I used uh, 10 litres of full cream milk or whole, whole milk. Uh, they were, it was about 3.8% if I remember rightly. And uh, I also used an aromatic mesophilic starter culture or Floridanica. Uh, and as you can see, there's no gas production. So the vacuum pack, I haven't re-vacuumed this or anything. It uh, certainly has uh, not blown up or anything like that, that sometimes it does with uh, Floridanica because Floridanica or aromatic mesophilic starter cultures do produce a little bit of CO2. Anyway, so let's cut into this beast and see what it tastes like. Because that's the most interesting part of the taste test videos okay so fairly dry inside there's no moisture in the bag a little bit damp to touch but that's to be expected it's a cheese oh instantly i can get a, a fruity flavor a fruity smell to the cheese uh, seems to have held up quite well in the vacuum packing so let's get the trusty very sharp knife and crack into this cheese. Now I could use the um, my normal cheese cutter with the, the string, but because it's got a lot of fruit in it, I've chosen not to do that. I wanted to cut straight through cleanly, which is fairly clean, off the knife. Let's have a look inside. Oh, very nice. A little bit crumbly by the looks of it just from that initial cut uh, the fruit is fairly well distributed through the entire cheese let's have a look at the other half yeah well it's a mirror image isn't it um, so that's pretty good so just put that bit out the way over there let's cut it in quarters now this is an extremely sharp knife so that's why it's just slipping straight through the cheese without too many issues at all. Not so much fruit in that part, but that's okay. You can see a little bit of the crumbliness texture there, but uh, yeah, that should all be good. Anyway, one thing I don't have is any crackers. So what would Wallace and Gromit do? They would get some crackers. Now I've got some crackers. I've got some just plain, these are water crackers, big ones though. Um, so let's try a bit of the cheese. Let's take a slab, shall we? Very nice. I like it a lot. Cuts well. There's a lot of fruit on this one. Now let's see if I put enough salt in it. So I put a little bit less cheese, uh, salt in this cheese. And I put one and a half tablespoons. Normally I put about two-ish. But anyway, let's uh, just have a taste test. Let's try this. Let's try it without the cracker. I'm not getting the full flavor here, even though it's come up to room temperature. Certainly crumbly, like a Wensleydale's supposed to be. That's nice, subtle, cheesy flavour. The fruit 
is nice all the way through, very subtle as well, not sweet. Mmm. Very Moorish. Oops. That's a nice flavoured cheese. A little bit of um, buttery notes, just a little bit slightly. I rate it, very nice cheese. Very nice cheese indeed. Mmm. Very more. I'm going to vacuum pack this because there's just too much to consume in the short term. Let's grab another piece and see how this cuts. This bit was mainly cheese. Mmm. Very nice. I like it a lot. So that's Wednesday Day with cranberries. Very delicious. Not very sweet, but there is a, a, a subtle sweetness through the cheese, which I like. And it's not too salty, which is good too because that had offset the character of the cranberries. Cranberries aren't very sweet anyway. They're, um, without being sweetened, they're fairly sour sorts of berries. Um, so I think ideal. Now, you could use any kind of fruit, dried fruit. So you could use dried mango, you could use dried ginger in this recipe. Dried apricots is another good one you could use. So don't just be scared off by the fact that I use cranberries for this cheese. You can use all sorts of dried fruit and mill it in when I did in the original video. So, lovely cheese. I will mature it for a little bit longer just to see if the flavour develops any more. So I'll back pack this. Uh, it's already been matured, uh, so what did I say, 28th of uh, April. It's now the, uh, as of filming this, is the 4th of August. So a little bit longer than what I would normally uh, uh, normally mature a Wensleydale but yeah it's turned out very well so it's got some good characteristics so once again delightful little cheese lovely I would make it again in a heartbeat but I've got so much here I probably won't have to make it for about a year very cool now if you want to get a kit to make this one I recommend the hard cheese kit um, you may have to add in some aromatic mesophilic starter culture because it doesn't come in the kit but you can get that over at littlegreenworkshops.com.au well, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I will see you next time.